the essence of negotiation is really to have something to do with results and at the same time to build some sort of relationship with your client or the person you're purchasing from, depending on whether you're buying or selling. It's very important that you strike this balance because there are some people in businesses who are just results orientated and there's no relationship being built and that's a mistake. And equally there are some people who give away far too much all the time. And mature negotiators try and get a balance between relationships and results. And that balance is achieved through a process of dialogue. So the idea, therefore, if it is about dialogue, is you've got to have something to talk about. And the most mistakes that people make in negotiations, they go into a room and there's nothing to talk about. They just think, yeah, I think it's about this, or that, and then they talk about price far too early. In negotiation, value is added as something crosses the table. So you need to think, well, what are those things that cross the table? And those things are called tradables. And if negotiations are akin to playing cards, it's just a game. It's just a ridiculous human resource game. If it's similar to playing cards, then you need a full pack. So the definition of a tradable is something that's relatively easy for you all to give and relatively valuable to the other side. Not necessarily dead easy, but relatively easy. So, Peter, you've got the idea of car, purchasing a car. What could be a tradable in that transaction? Uh, promising them that they can do my MOT. Yeah, some future business might well be a deal maker in this instance, correct. Kylie, on gardening, what have you got? Yes, I could uh, promise a gardener to recommend him to friends and family. Yeah, what a gardener needs hugely is a lot of names. He hasn't got the names. Very hard for him to get. Very easy for you to deliver. So if I had a gardener come round, certainly I'd say, here's a list of ten names. You give me ten credit offer, you can have those names. Very powerful, very easy for you to give. So Kylie, on the gardening example, I'm the gardener and you're the householder. So let's try it. So I'm going to cut your grass next Tuesday morning, nine o'clock, Kylie. So the price for that is £20. Could you possibly do it for £15? Pounds? No, I'm sorry, I can't. Now, the problem with that is that um, it's a closed question. It deserves a closed answer. She's asked me a very, you know, we're very apologetic in the United Kingdom, especially but culturally, up our own bottoms, really. So, you know, the, our problem is we're apologetic in our language. How about, what if, you know, are you sitting down? All these ridiculous things. My opening offer is this, but there's a much better one coming along in a minute. So it's that apology. You know, would you do it for 50? Well, no, I wouldn't, quite frankly. It's worth 20. So the best way to do it is to start to trade, Kylie, to try and get me to you know, have some one-to-one -one concessions. So let's try that again. So I'm the gardener coming in. So, Kylie, for next week, Tuesday morning, 9 o'clock, to do your grass is 20 pounds. If I would give you names of 10 friends and neighbours, which took 15 have you got 10 friends and neighbours close by? Yes. That would be really useful. I'd love those names. That's fantastic. I still can't do for £15, though. So the problem there is Kylie's starting now to get one-to-one -one concessions sorted out, but actually, apparently, what's mine is mine and what's hers is still negotiable because you have to say the words a certain way around. You've got to make them play their card first and make the whole thing conditional. Otherwise, she said she can give me her friends' names and I still haven't given her the five quid. So make it conditional by converting the, the words around to if you, Malcolm, then I. So, Carly, next Wednesday, 9 o'clock, £20. If you could do it for £15, then I can give you names of 10 friends and neighbours. Do they need their grass doing as well? Well, they've all got gardens, I hope. Yes, they do. That's great. That sounds like a deal.